Hello again, everybody, and welcome to The Last Word. I'm the publisher of The Vegas Voice, Dan Roberts, and our goal in these segments is to introduce everybody to all the wonderful people running for elected office. Today, we have Jenny Walter, who is the Republican candidate for Clark County Commission, mm -hmm. District F. That's correct. Jenny, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Hey. Thank you. And uh, you can call me Jenna, too. Jenna, too. Yes. Even better. I'm moving up in the world. <laughs> Jenna, let me ask you this. Uh, I know this is your first run for political mm -hmm. office. So before we even go into all that, tell us a little bit about your background, your experience. Yes. Thank you so much for this opportunity and to share my, my background and experience. I have been serving the residents of the southern part of Clark County for going on six years now. So I did four years on Enterprise Town Advisory Board. The last two years, I was chairwoman of that board. And I am currently serving on the Clark County Planning Commission. This is my second year as a planning commissioner. And you know, one of the things, again, we talked about it off camera, but I, I'm fascinated by it, is that how did you even get involved with the planning commission? Mm -hmm. Because yep. that, that's a very interesting story. Yeah, so I very organically was one of those neighbors that got a lot of those cards in the mail and wanted to know how the system worked and how to not only just find out about it, but really get involved and to hear my neighbors out and really make a difference and be a part of that voice to really shape the future of our county. And even before that, I mean, your personal background, tell us a little bit about yourself, your experience, just mm -hmm. growing up, what it was like. Are you from here? Let's yes. start with that. Well, I'm actually from Kansas. So I was born and raised in Kansas, went to Kansas State University. The day after I graduated from college, right. I told my parents I'm moving out to Las Vegas. I wanted to work in the casino marketing industry. So I have been in Las Vegas for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I have only lived in District F in my 15 years here in Clark really? County. Mm -hmm. right. Well, you know, uh, it, the funny thing that I've been asking people, especially first time, is, is based on the political climate that you see, why would anybody want to run for public office. And I find that remarkable only because why would you do something like that? That's a great question. That's definitely a question that gets asked a lot. I yep. can't speak for other first time candidates, but somebody like myself, I think the idea of continuing to serve and to serve at a higher level to have my votes be the final say and not as an advisory um, decision mm -hmm. really outweighs any of that negativity and noise that comes from that. So for me, that's what's important. But on the planning commission, dealing with the county commission that I, I know, you know, the individuals, you see the partisanship and you're a Republican mm -hmm. and assuming you you win. Mm -hmm. Can you work with the Democrats? Can you even work within the Republican Party? Because <laughs> they're all fighting with each other. <laughs> well, yes. And I think that's an important aspect of my campaign is because I actively now and previously have worked with the other side with Democrats. So yeah. and I am have been appointed to the Planning Commission by a sitting Democrat county commissioner. Mm -hmm. And uh, assuming you win, what's your vision? What do you, what do you anticipate? You're now elected, you're now county commissioner. Congratulations, by the way. <laughs> and how do you want it? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things. I think the most important thing for me is to really home in on responsible development. So that is my background with planning and zoning. We need responsible development. We need diversity and job creation for mm -hmm. District F. That's a big point. And community safety and can, you know, partner with our community partners to ensure that we have that safety in our neighborhoods and our communities. And that will also help small businesses as well, ensuring that they feel supported. And as you go about this, I mean, it's got to be a whole new world for you now, being a so-called politician or trying to be a politician as an elected official. So far, is it worthwhile? I mean, do you enjoy doing what you're doing? I've always enjoyed absolutely serving and being able to continue to serve is definitely what's the reward in all of this. And I have enjoyed this process. I think that um, until you really throw your name in there, you don't know what to expect. And right. it's been enjoyable. I've met so many amazing people that I probably would not have ever met throughout yeah. this process. And you know, the interesting thing is when you tell people Clark County Commission, they really don't know. They don't know the low, the grassroots. District F, what area is that? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that area? Yeah, so it's going to be um, basically south of Charleston and west of the I-15. Now, recently, with redistricting, mm -hmm. it does include parts of Anthem. So south of Volunteer, 
Road and then Bicentennial south of that. So it does capture a little dog lake of um, Anthem now, which previously was not there. It's amazing how it gets redistributed and everything else along it, but that's just the way it is. Yes. You know, one of the things that we do as a senior magazine, and we're asking people running for elected office is, why should seniors vote for you? Yeah. That's an open-ended question, so it's all yours. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. So I think it's important, and that's a dem- you know a group of people that we don't want to, you know, not make sure that their voice is heard. And I think that's very important because there's a lot of issues. You know, we want to make sure that their communities are safe for them. You know, as far as infrastructure too, it can be as simple as are we putting the infrastructure that's right for these types of um, you know developments and communities? You know, are there sidewalks? Are we not putting sidewalks in? Um, safety for that is the police and metro involved with creating these safe environments as mm-hmm. well too. So I think that's even just a little portion. I know there is um, some bigger issues too. You know, we have healthcare issues, right. and I think that even you know something is the local government as a county commissioner, but partnering with other elected officials to have those voices be heard and to make a difference is a great starting point. And to put you on the spot, okay, because we have the camera rolling now, what would you like people, seniors, just people who are going to vote, what should they know about you? Yep. What do you, what can you actually offer them besides the political consequences and changes? Mm-hmm. So what I can offer is that the voices will be heard, their feedback will be heard. To me, I think that is very important because that is something that's not happening right now in District F. A mm-hmm. lot of voices are not being heard and the voting and the direction of how the district is going does not reflect the voices of the community. And then, well, then let me ask you this then, because of the situation, you might have some great ideas going forward when you become a commissioner. The, the idea is, do you feel confident that you can work with the other commissioners, Republican, Democrats, to just to compromise? Or is compromise to you a dirty word, like some people have been saying? No, I can absolutely compromise. And I think that when you compromise, one side maybe feels like they are compromising 50%, but it's also making sure that my community's voice is heard to get what they ultimately want. And if that's going to take some compromising, that's ultimately what's going to win out. And you can do that. Well, again, if if people want more information about you, they want to volunteer, they want to contribute money, because unfortunately, money's the name of the game. How do they get a hold of you? How do they reach out to you? How do they get more information about you? Yeah, absolutely. I do have a website, it's Jenna Waltho for countycommission.com. And is there a phone number or yeah. go ahead, why don't you read? Phone number is 702-994-2674. And in the closing seconds that we have left, the main thing coming out of this interview that you want to get across to those people are what? That I am listening and I want the voices heard. And I want the people to have control back of their county, of their county commission district. I thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Hopefully me. we can have you again as the primary gets closer, as the election gets closer. And we can go into more in depth with the issues and stuff. If that's OK with you. Absolutely. I would love to come back anytime. You got it. So I thank you so much for being here. And this is Dan Roberts for the Vegas Voice, the last word. And we will see you again later. Jenna, thank, thank you. you again. Thank you.